Are you always on the lookout for a holster company that'll give you a little bit extra, a little bit more, or will get it to you a little bit quicker? If you are, I got something for you. Let's hit it. As we're here welcome back to the bench today i've got a holster review for you the holsters that we're reviewing today are from a company called dark horse tactical solutions now dark horse tactical solutions is a company that is local to me here in lafayette indiana it's veteran owned and he's making a big push to up the quality and the timeliness of his holster delivery let me show you what he's got now i've been working with josh from dark horse for quite a while now and i've got a couple of different of the options that he's got here so up first here, I've got a custom folded holster. Now, this is of his older design. It is a holster that is custom molded for my EDC P01. And if you listen, it's got a really, really nice retention to it for being a custom non-CNC molded holster. The definition is pretty good. The sight channel is big enough to be able to take care of your sights, but not overly big like some of the ones you've seen on my channel before. And Josh has everything custom blocked so that there's no unnecessary rubbing on any piece of this, including the decocker. Now this particular one is running a strut and loop. Uh, this is the first time that I've tried this and to be honest, not a fan of it. Um, I think that I will end up talking to him and getting a grip hook to put on this instead. Um, I just, the strut and loop takes a long time to be able to put on and put off and typically speaking, I don't have that long to be able to do that. I'm tossing it on in my car or, you know, trying to take care of things quickly. So I am not a big loop fan. I know some of you guys are tried and true, swear by the loops and for you guys, Josh has the loops, he's got grip hooks, he's got foamy clips, and he can do all of those, but Josh is trying to get away from the custom molds a little bit with his new offerings, which is what I have over here. These are two brand new holsters from Dark Horse Tactical. So you see here on my left, I have my P07, which is traditionally speaking, a relatively difficult pistol to find a holster for. That's one of the things that I tell people when they're looking to purchase a CZ, specifically a P07, is they're difficult to find holsters for. Well, not anymore. We've got a source for you. This is the holster. Um, you notice here that the holster does have some extra holes in it. Those holes are because these holsters are made to be universal to his accessories and his attachment kits. So, here, I've got my holster set up in the quick ship format with just a foamy clip. Uh, I believe this is going to end up being right around $70. Now, he does have other options. You can get it with a foamy, you can get it with a grip hook, you can get it with two grip hooks, you can get it with a strut and loop, you can get it with two strut and loops, you can get it with just two loops, you can get it with one loop. So you can have all of these different attachment options with the same holster. If you don't like the attachment options that you have, for instance, if I want to get rid of this foamy, I'm not a big foamy clip fan. I could simply get a hold of Josh, grab a grip hook from him, and toss that on here instead, and ta-da, I've got a grip hook instead of the foamy clip. So these are molded on CNC molds, um, and it's a really cool process, but essentially what it gives him is the ability to properly shape every single holster he has so that it has perfect retention. And you notice he actually runs fixed retention, and that's because of the tooling style that he uses. Oftentimes, people have to run adjustable attention because they can't get the tolerances around these areas as tight as they need to be to give that consistent snap. But this new tooling that he's using will give you that every time without the requirement of having adjustable retention. Over here, I've got my Smith & Wesson shield. Don't judge. Um, I... I absolutely hate this gun, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I need a new trigger for it, just haven't gotten around to it yet, but you notice my Smith & Wesson shield is also in a Dark Horse Tactical holster. And it also has a very nice, stiff retention, just the same as my P07 here. So that's what you're going to get. Now, availabilities with these, he's got the P07, the Smith & Wesson shield, the Smith & Wesson 2.0. Those won't work with the 1.0 guns, unfortunately. He's also got the CZ P10C, he's got the Glock 19, and he's got the Glock 43. So he's got quite the offering coming out. Take a look in the description below and you'll find his website, darkhorseTS.com. On his website, you're going to find all the pricing information, all of the different information on which guns he has, as far as the new molding styles go. Now, as far as the old ones go, it's a little bit more complicated than that. You will have to contact him, you'll have to talk to him about what the availability is and what the time frame is. 
This style of holster takes a heck of a lot longer to make than this does. These took investment in money, these take a lot of investment in time. So keep that in mind while you're looking at them if you're thinking about trying to get something custom from it. That's it for this time guys, the resurgence of a holster company that's been around for a while and is finally making a comeback. Remember guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell if you're looking forward to any of our upcoming content. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.